Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to find the higher order derivatives of the given function. So the derivative of a function y equals f of x denoted by y prime or pwede rin namang e prime of x is in general a function of x. So this new function of x, when differentiated again, will give the second derivative. So repeating the process will give the third derivative of y with respect to x. And this process may continue indefinitely. So all these functions from the second derivative are called higher order derivatives of y equals f of x. So let's have now example number 1. So given the function f of x equals negative 2x raised to 4 plus 10x cubed minus 5x squared plus x minus 11, then solve for the following. Letter A, we are asked to find the second derivative of the function. So, para makuha yung ating second derivative ng ating f of x, ang una natin gagawin is kunin muna natin yung kanyang first derivative. Okay, so copy muna natin. We have 5x squared plus x minus 11. So, to find the first derivative ng ating f of x, ang gagamitin lang natin dito is yung power rule kung saan Imumultiply natin yung ating exponent doon sa kanyang coefficient. So, negative 2 times 4, we have negative 8. Then, x, then magma-minus 1 tayo doon sa kanyang exponent. So, we have cube. Okay? So, repeating the process, doon sa ating mga terms, we have 30x square. Then, we have negative 10x. Then, derivative ng x is equal to 1. Then, derivative ng constant is 0. So, after getting the first derivative ng ating f of x, pwede na natin makuha ngayon yung ating second derivative. So, ang gagawin lang natin is i-differentiated natin yung at or i-differentiate natin yung ating first derivative. So, getting the derivative ng ating e prime of x, we have 3 times negative 8, that is negative 24x, then 3 minus 1, we have square, then 3, 30 times 2, that is 60x, then derivative ng ating negative 10x is negative 10, then derivative ng ating constant is 0. So, ito na ngayon yung ating second derivative. Okay? So, next is yung third derivative. So, to get the third derivative ng ating given function is i-differentiate lang natin yung ating second derivative. Okay? So, applying the power rule or the power formula, we have uh, negative 24 times 2. This is negative 48x plus derivative ng 60x, we have 60. Then, derivative ng constant is 0. So, ito na ngayon yung ating third derivative. So, next, letter C. So, dito naman, uh, we are asked to find the second derivative of the function at x equals 1. So, para makuha itong ating... Um, f double prime of 1 is gagamitin natin yung ating second derivative. Okay? Then, isa-substitute natin yung 1 doon sa mga x natin. So, try natin. So, we have a negative 24. Then, yung x natin, which is 1. Then, we have square plus 60x, which is 1, minus 10. So, simplify natin to. We have negative 24 times 1 squared. This is negative 24. Plus 60 times 1, we have 60. Then minus 10. Okay, so combine natin to. We have negative 24 plus 60. So, that is 36. Minus 10, we have 
26. So, ang ating second derivative at x equals 1 is equal to 26. Okay? So, ganyan lang siya kasimple. Next, yung ating um, third derivative at x equals 2. So, dito naman, ang gagamitin natin is yung ating third derivative ng function. Then, isa-substitute natin si 2 as the value of as the value of x so we have negative 48 then x which is 2 plus 60 so we have negative 48 times 2 this is negative 96 plus 60 so ang ating third derivative at x equals 2 is now negative 36. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating final answer. Okay? So, nasundan ba guys? So, next, let's have example number 2. We have y equals 2x over 1 minus 2x. Then, we are asked to find the second derivative. Okay? So, since kung napapansin nyo dito, yung ating function is a rational expression. So, meaning, ang gagamitin natin dito is yung ating uh, quotient rule. Okay? So, alam naman natin, ang formula para makuha si uh, derivative ng ating quotient is um, uv prime. Ah, uh, sorry. So, we have uh, vu prime minus uv prime over v square. Ito yung ating quotient rule dati. So, pag in-apply natin yan, in this case, let u equals 2x, then ang v natin is 1 minus 2x. Okay? So, ang ating u prime dito is magiging equal to 2. Then, ang ating v prime is equal to negative 2. Okay? So, we can now apply the formula ng ating uh, quotient rule. So, applying the formula, we have y prime equals v u prime. So, ang v natin dito is 1 minus 2x times u prime which is 2 minus u v prime. So, ang u natin dito is 2x times v prime which is negative 2 all over v square, which is 1 minus 2x, then square. Okay, so next, simplify natin yung ating equation. We have y prime equals, so distribute natin yung 2. So this is 2 minus 4x. Then we have uh, negative times 2x, negative 2x times negative 2. We have positive 4x. All over 1 minus 2x square. Okay, so makakancel natin yung 4x sa uh, numerator. So, ang ating first derivative is equal to 2. All over 1 minus 2x, then square. Okay? So, after natin makuha si first derivative, pwede na natin kunin yung kanyang second derivative using this equation. So, yung ating first derivative is 2 over 1 minus 2x, then square. So, in this case, uh, pwede natin gamitin yung quotient rule, uh, u over v ulit, or pwede rin naman tayong mag-chain rule. So, try naman natin this time yung ating uh, chain rule. Okay? So, pagka nag-chain rule tayo dito, ang gagawin lang natin, i -re -re write natin yung ating equation 2y prime equals 2 times 1 minus 2x raised to negative 2. Okay, so kung makapansin nyo dito, yung denominator natin is kinuha natin yung reciprocal. Then yung kanyang exponent is naging negative. Okay, so dito pwede na natin gamitin yung ating chain rule. We have y prime equals, so applying the chain rule, 
negative 2 times 2, this is negative 4. Then, copy lang natin tong ating base. Okay? Then, negative 2 minus 1, this is negative 3. Okay? So, next is, i-chain natin ngayon yung derivative ng ating base, which is 1 minus 2x. So, pag kinuha natin yung derivative niyan, derivative ng 1 is 0. Derivative ng negative 2x, this is negative 2. Okay? So, simplify lang natin yung ating equation. Ito na, yung ngayon, ito na ngayon yung ating second derivative. So, y double prime equals negative 4 times negative 2. This is positive 8. Times 1 minus 2x raised to negative 3. Okay? So, ngayon, ang ating second derivative ng ating function is equal to 8 over 1 minus 2x cubed. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating final answer. So, next, let's have example number 3. y equals 5 cosine x plus 4 over x plus 6 minus 3x. Then, we are asked to find the third derivative ng ating given function. So, dito, kung makapansin nyo, meron tayong cosine of x. So, meaning, pwede natin gamitin yung ating, or magagamit natin yung derivative ng cosine x, which is negative sine x. Okay? So, magagamit natin itong formula nito dun sa ating first term. Sa second term naman natin, yung 4 over x plus 6, pag kinuha natin yung derivative niyan, pwede tayong mag, um, mag quotient rule dyan or pwede rin natin gamitin yung chain rule. Since nakita naman natin kanina na mas madaling gamitin si chain rule pag kaganto yung given, so try natin mag chain rule. Then kay negative 3x naman is simpleng power formula lang yung ating gagamitin. Okay? So, since uh, pinapakuha is third derivative, so medyo mahaba yung ating magiging solution dito. So, first, kunin natin yung kanyang first derivative. Okay, start tayo kay 5 cosine x. So, getting the derivative ng cosine x, alam naman natin that is equivalent to negative sine x. So, yung ating first term is magiging negative 5, then sin x. Okay? Plus, doon sa ating uh, middle term, so ang gagamitin natin dito is yung ating chain rule. So, yung middle term natin is magiging 4, then x plus 6 raised to negative 1. Okay? So, applying the chain rule, so negative 1 times 4, this is uh, negative 4 times x plus 6. Then negative 1 minus 1. This is negative 2. Okay? Then i-chain natin ngayon yung derivative ng ating base which is 1. Okay? So next, dun tayo kay negative 3x. So that is negative 3 yung kanyang first derivative. So, simplify natin yung y prime. We have negative 5 sin x then minus 4 times x plus 6 raised to negative 2 minus 3. Okay? So, dito naman, may nakita tayong sin x. So, meaning, magagamit natin yung formula na Derivative of sin x is equal to cosine x. Okay? So, try natin ngayon kunin yung kanyang second derivative. Which is equal to negative 5 sin x. So, that is negative 5 cosine x ng kanyang derivative. So, dito naman sa second term. Ang gagamitin natin is chain rule. So, negative 2 times negative 4, that is positive 8, times x plus 6, then negative 2 minus 1, this is negative 3. 
Then, iti-chain natin yung derivative ng ating binomial, which is 1. Next, derivative ni negative 3, that is 0. Okay? So, ang second derivative natin dito, simplify natin, we have negative, negative 5 cosine x plus 8 times x plus 6 raised to negative 3. Okay? So, next is, pwede na natin kunin ngayon yung kanyang third derivative. So, para makuha si third derivative, again, get the deriv derivative of negative 5 cosine x. So, ang derivative ng cosine is negative sine x times negative 5, that is positive 5 sine x. Okay? So, next is mag-chain rule ulit tayo. So, negative 3 times 8. This is um, negative 24 times x plus 6 raised to negative 3 minus 1. That is negative 4 times or i-chain natin yung derivative ni x plus 6 which is 1. Okay? So, simplify natin. So, ang ating final answer is y triple prime is equal to 5 sine x. Then we have minus 24 over x plus 6 raised to 4. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung ating magiging final answer. Okay, nakuha ba guys? So this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!